Shaner64 here today, and we're going to be doing an unboxing of TMNT, the usual. So today, though, we're going to be doing an unboxing of a set that's been out for a little while, and I haven't really had the chance to be able to get it, and I just recently got it, so I figured, hey, let's record us unboxing it. Why not, right? It is the neutrinos. So you got all three of them there. So cool to have and you got the little baby with them too and the little like i don't know what that is little animal dog space alien thing so pretty cool this brings back so many memories because i had these as a child in the playmate series when i was a kid in the 90s and i think they were only ever released in the tune line so it was something that was a little different like they'd actually have like actual figures besides the tune line so cool stuff to be able to get this i've been wanting this one for a little while haven't been able to find it but hey now we got it so I say, let's open this bad boy up and let's check it out. Well, I got these neutrinos open and Pablo's here chewing a bone below me. So you might hear him in the background, but he's kind of just chilling in his own little area here. But so I'm a little upset, a little disappointed, and I'll show you why here in a second, but we're gonna go over these one by one. So first, figure up, we got her. Honestly, I cannot remember these names without really butchering them. So I do apologize. The only one I really remember is Zach. Besides that, I do not recall the other two. You would almost have to look them up. So if you do know the two other names, leave them in the comments because I'm drawing a blank. I mean, I could just Google search them or whatever, but cool looking figures. Like I said, very, <sighs> and this is where I'm going to be upset. So I complained about NECA before with the loose, not loose, I'd say, well, but not even loose. That's the problem. Like these very stiff joints on these figures that don't want to bend too well. Well, these two are fine. These two I kind of made out okay on, and this is where it happened. As you see, we're missing a hand. And legit, all I did was take it out of the box and just, you know, un what do you call it? Scissor up the little areas, unclip them off, take them out. And as soon as I took them out, it legit went to move his hand just one little inch and just snapped off. And I'm like, really? So, come on, NECA. I love your product and I love your company, but we got to get this stuff together because this is getting really old. Like, I've had this happen once or twice before and it's very frustrating. I mean, I can glue this back on. It's not a problem. I mean, it's not like the end of the world or anything, but it's just, it's frustrating because you buy these nice quality figures and you expect nice high quality. And for some reason, the joints are as stiff as a headboard. I don't know why, but you cannot move these things. And like, I'm afraid to even move around his right hand now because I'm afraid that one's just gonna snap off too, so. And I know some people really don't make a big thing of it, but I do because I like to pose these figures and have them different positions and like different poses with the different weapons in their hands and whatnot. And to me, that's cool. And to not be able to actually do that because your figures, because you're afraid of them snapping or breaking, is a problem. And I shouldn't have to worry about this every time I open a figure and Finally struck. Well, I've been pretty good for a while now, you know, knock on wood. But this is the one that got me. So, hey, it's not the end of the world. Life will go on, whether you want it to or not. But it is is what it is. Let's get on the cool side of things, though. So, they do have these cool little hoverboards they come with. And the hoverboards have the little displays you stick them on. So, basically, you can display them on the hoverboards. So, you just, if I can get it on there properly... It's like a little display stand. You can stick them on. You can like kind of pose it angledly, kind of put it straight if you want to back or like they're flying upwards. So that's really cool. I mean, that kind of that up my mood a little bit after that happening. And then you got the little baby and little alien space baby and this Pavo leaving. He said, he said, hey, I'm done here. Even he's up. He's so upset. He couldn't even chew his bone below me. He's that upset about that turtle breaking. So, aye, aye, aye. But those are cool little figures there and got tons of little accessories tons of little stuff there we got couldn't really explain what they are but i'll put them on display with them like i said i wasn't really big into neutrinos and like their whole like past and what they are so i just thought i remember as a kid playing with the toys a lot with all my other turtle figures and i thought they were cool um the other cool thing it does come with is it does come with little figure display stands. So say if you don't want to display them on the hoverboards, you can display them on these little like circle things with the little like, they have the little like feet grips on them. So show a quick example. 
because I'll be honest, just the way these figures are, the way like the legs and feet are, I don't think these are gonna stand too well on their own, which I guess that's one thing NECA to do, okay? They at least give you like a stand to put them on because I think they were even aware like, hey, these aren't gonna stand too well, so. Besides the fact the limbs are gonna break off and stuff, let's, let's at least give you something in return, right? Sure, but that's basically how it look. I mean, the other foot would be a little more positioned when they're like standing still, but it's gonna help them to at least stand completely still, so. It's frustrating, but the lesson learned here, life will go on. You can't let toys control your life. I mean, at the end of the day, these are toys, action figures, and I'm a kid at heart and I love this stuff, but sometimes I get too upset by it. But hey, like I said, you can't take it too to heart. But um, the only other thing the figures came with, I got them all here in a little pile, tons of hands. You got tons of different pose hands here. You got a little peace sign. So, I mean, you can give him a lot of cool little different grips. And I think Pablo's even coming down a little bit. He came back over here to grab his bone. So, I don't know. He's hard to tell sometimes. He's a big turtle nut. He gets upset when stuff happens with these turtle figures. But what can you do? That's the neutrinos. So, cool figures. I don't believe these are in stores anymore. Like, probably not going to find them. I mean, you, barely, you can barely find the stuff that's in stores right now. But if you did want these, eBay is going to be your best bet. And... I'll be honest, these aren't going for a lot on eBay. The price really came down on them, and I wonder if like they're just not high demand or quality or what, but you can get these at a pretty good price. I believe I paid, I think, for the set sealed, I think I paid like $42, and when these came out, they were $75 retail. So you figure about what, 25 a figure, and to get them down to 42, and I think shipping, I actually, I think shipping was free. So I paid $42 for a set. So I don't know if you'll be able to get them that cheap, but they are on there and they're not that much. So if you are interested in these figures, like I said, eBay is going to be your best route. And like I said, I think the value needs kind of dropped. I mean, I usually don't resell figures anyways. I mean, TMNT wise, I usually keep everything. So I'll put these on display. And the tune line, like I said, tune line them all in. I love this tune line. This is the best thing that... Besides my bashing of NECA, I know I get upset about them and stuff, but I mean, like, besides my bashing of them, this tune line that we're doing is the coolest thing around because they are giving these figures justice, and the Playmate figures are cool back in the day, but these are basically based off the cartoon line. While the Playmate figures, they were just straight up like, hey, let's just release a bunch of TMNT toys and get them out in the market. We don't even know who these characters are. I mean, some were related to this, like, the show. But a lot of them are just kind of like, oh, we just want to release more figures for kids to buy. And now this is basically like 99% based off the show. So like every time these figures are coming out, they're based off of different episodes like in the line or different like seasons and whatnot. And that's cool. I got to give NECA props on that. But for doing this line justice and they're doing a good job. I mean, but now we're starting to get to the point now we're getting the nitty gritty where... They've done most of the popular characters and like most of the main character lines and we're getting to the point who really is left because I think they just announced in April, in Ultimate April, and the main reason for that is the old April O'Neil that came in a two pack, you cannot get her. And you, I mean you can, but you're going to be paying over a hundred bucks on eBay and a lot of people don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So I'm excited for that. I will be p picking that one up when it comes out, the Ultimate April O'Neil, so... She'll be a cool one. So props to NECA for re-releasing her. And also props to them too. I saw they're re-releasing Casey Jones with a foot soldier. It's like a slash foot soldier where he's like cut in half kind of. And that's another one too. The Casey Jones does go for quite a bit online as well. And that's because they never re-released him. So they're re-releasing a little more of characters that are a little more off secure. And they know that fans want them and the demand's there and they're going to sell. So it's one of those things. If the demand's there and they're going to sell, why not? I mean... People are going to buy them. So at the end of the day, if, you, if NECA likes money, they're going to keep releasing this stuff. And as long as people keep buying it, it's going to keep coming out. So props all the way around. That's about it for the unboxing day, though. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like down below. I appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you who even watched this and even got this far into this. And I'm having fun still doing all this. It's fun times. I love action figures, turtles. And if you love that kind of stuff, too, subscribe to the channel down below. 
We're over a thousand now, and I love every single one of you that watch this stuff and are into this stuff. Video games, action figures, unboxings, one-up arcades, Funko Pops, NECA, Super 7. We can go on and on. Nintendo, Genesis, movies, anything. Physical media. I did a video on that. And if you want to check out some of my old videos, down, I got playlists down below of action figures, video games, Funko Pops, maybe a few other ones. Did a bunch of shorts of Pablo, too. Pablo, like I said, he's a turtle now. He loves this stuff. And... If you like nice, high-quality t-shirts, mm -hmm. got the logo, Chainer64 right there, myself and Pavo, and he loves this stuff. And if you're interested in the shirt, or and I got tons of new designs on there, coffee mugs, stickers, keychains, I really think about that, <laughs> um, magnets of Pavo's face, the link will be down below in the description. So check all that out, and if you do want to support the channel, buy it up. And I will say this is a very nice, high quality material shirt. It's not like a cheapy shirt and they're all unisex, so they will fit any gender. So that's about it for today. Pablo's over here chewing his bone and I'm gonna tune out and I will say, like I usually always do, cowabunga.